Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Um, I did AFL every single day for like last two weeks and I'm still nowhere near getting through all my requests. Like there's still a lot of requests left. So in this video we have six and one. We have Richmond Tigers go to the finals, not 2017. So we came in for that, it's actually 2014. Okay, it's not clickbait, it's still, it's still correct. It's just, it's just a different year, okay? Uh, we've got 1976, round 19, South Melbourne v Hawthorne. We got Hawthorne v Geelong, round six, 1989. And we've got three Hall of Fame videos. Rick Davis, uh, had, had Hay, Hayden Bunton, sorry, and uh, Percy Parrott. So yeah, let's do this. This is the longest one of the video. Seven, seven minutes long. No, no more HD, there's no HD in this video. Apart from me. But as for the videos themselves, they're all like 480p. So apologies if it's not that great quality, but yeah. Let's watch this Road to the Finals. For Richmond in 2014. Nice. A comfortable win over Brisbane. Round 17. Against Ports. Was this that great game? I think I've seen this one actually. This, this great game. It was mental. West Coast. Did they beat Port Adelaide? I think they did. I'm, I mean, if, if they didn't, I'm, 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 wrong, I'm wrong. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, I'm sorry. Started a bit there, I mean, like, they did win, right? I'm sure they did. What a finish. What a finish. Wait a few more years, lads. Your year would come. Against GWS. Already winning comfortably. Was this the year where they faced Carlton in the uh, in week one? I think. Was that the year four? Of the finals, I mean. Because I'm sure they made it this year. Obviously. Because this was the finals, so obviously. And another victory. Easy peasy. What a run. Yeah. Keeping it alive. Nice. Welcome to the Adelaide Oval. Not an easy place to win. Especially uh, now, <laughs> in 2018. Almost. Almost. Go! And Dusty again. No mark, but you know what he can do. He can do that. Easy for him. Just like the grand final last year, they have beaten the Crows. Nice one, lads. Down 22 against the Saints. Good tackle in there. 
What a go! That was nice. What a mock. <laughs> what a mock. That was just a walk in the park. Yeah, they're in the eight, okay. Already in the eight. Playing the forms in round 23. Oh, okay, they're not made it yet. Sorry. They were, they made it in the eight, yeah. That's what I meant. I think I, I think I I think I saw this actually. I saw this game. They won it like really late. It was a really good game. I remember. Yeah, I remember seeing this game. What a game this was. Good mark. Great, great play. Great play. There he is. There he goes. There he goes. Brilliant. Great play to watch. Great play to watch. There you go. So did, did they play Carlton week one? I think they did. But yeah, this was a great game. So now we got South Melbourne v Hawthorne 1976 round 19. So yeah, sorry about the last, last video by the way. Um, I got a bit confused for a second because when they won the round 22 game and the commentator said they're in the 8, I thought they actually made it to the finals. But yeah, it just meant they're in the 8 for now. But yeah, it's a good thing they won the last game. Anyway, this is, as I said, South Melbourne v Hawthorne, 1976, round 19. I don't know what the score is, so uh, that's a good goal. Should be interesting at least. Another good goal. I wish I knew he was winning. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> wish I had an idea. At least like a scoreboard like every like two minutes or something. Or every 30 seconds in this case. Oh nice. Well played. Based on what I've seen, I think South are winning. That's all I'm saying. Nice, good goal. He should score from there, but yeah, it's a good finish. Go on, Greg. This is, well, that was a great ball. But unlucky, they still got it though. Yeah, that was a pretty good goal. <laughs> that was a pretty good goal. That was decent. It's a good mark. I think there's a third quarter now, actually. It's gone quite fast. Oh. Oh. He's gone straight through. And that's a great assist. A bullet of a finish. Nice goal. Easy. Easy. Easy as you like. I really don't know who's winning this. I really do. I know I've said this like multiple times now. Oh. 
Yes. Here we go. By the way, in the last video, I, uh, I did check um, the last 10 seconds because they did say something. And yeah, Hawthorne won by 14 points. So yeah, um, I was talking over it at the time. So apologies for that, but I, 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 I saw they, uh, they saw something, they said something, and uh, I looked back on it. And yeah, anyway, this is Geelong taking on us. Another Hawthorne game, of course, in round six. Ten years later. A player, great player, of course. Runs in the family. Good play. Here we go. There you go. Right, I see, I see a score more often now. That's a good thing. Hawthorne are far behind. Very far behind. Come on. Nice. Is there a comeback in this? I think there might be. That'd be good. It's on Hawthorne channel, so maybe there is a comeback. The technology was incredible, apparently. There you go, straight forward. Nice, good play. And another one. This is good actually. Especially a gold compilation. But one match. That's what it feels like in a way. And it's good, it works. There he goes again. There you go. And scores. What a goal. <laughs> what a goal. Really good goal. This is a good game, I don't know who wins. I guess I'll find out very soon. Very soon. These goals are entertaining. Folks, 10 goals in the final quarter. Nice. 60 points. Just like that. Was it enough though? Did Geelong score a few too? Wow. One by nine points. He scored ten goals in the quarter as well. That is crazy. What a comeback. That was really good. I enjoyed that. We have moved on to Hall of Fame. Three Hall of Famers. We've got Rick Davis. I've been very, very lucky with what I've done. Induction. Okay the utmost respect for everybody in the game. It was just fantastic to be involved. All right. Let's learn about him. Sturt, nine, six, 10 years there. And another three years, okay. Sturt Premiership player. Nice. Sturt captain for two years. Hawthorne 1981, South Adelaide 85 86, State of Origin, got a good career. All Australian, 1980 captain. Nice. I could always mark the ball. If one thing I could do, I could mark it. Couldn't run too far. Fair enough. Well, from based on that, it's very good of them. Wow. Wow. I can remember her in the pouring rain. 
That is great. Like, an almost injury play, almost injury free career. Always a great career to have. Was probably my highlight of my life. Yeah. We used to hate Port Adelaide terribly. They were easily the best side. Fair enough. Third team in the century. Nice. Well, I played 20 on state games. To me, that was the, the pinnacle of the year. So I was um, captain of South Australia. I was lucky enough to be all Australian captain one year. Russell Henry had gone to North Melbourne. Graham Corns had gone to North Melbourne, and you know they'd only they'd gone late. And I'd been humming and hollering for years. And then the great John Kennedy from Northland came across. How many games did he play? Oh, I oh. said to Dad, I said, well, "What do you think?" And he said, "Me, if you're going, nick off. If you're not, shut up." So I packed up with the family, and I went over, and I had one of the best years of my life. Being 29. I was too slow and too old. <laughs> it just hit me in the face that, God, I wish I'd have been here a lot earlier. Fair I enough. Back to and, uh, was Captain Sturt when I went back. And, of course, then I went down to South Adelaide, and I really did enjoy my time. And, of course, then I went back to Sturt and coached for a year or so. And um, that sort of finished off where, where I left it. Nice. So, yeah. Um, oh, okay, it's not the end. It's meant an enormous amount of friends and different types of people, different players. I've been able to watch the best. I've been able to go to Melbourne. I've done everything that I could possibly want to do. And football has meant over a period of 1970 to 87. Living the dream. Just everything to me. Almost just completes my life. Nice. That is the end. Sorry about that. I thought it was in the earlier. But yeah, um, that was good. That was actually really good. That was really well put together. And yeah, um, how many games did he play overall? Considering he only missed two games for injury. That's, well, that's a lot of games with him. But yeah, um, that was awesome. 31 to 37 and 42. Okay. So. Yeah, uh, before and during the World War. Second World War. Hayden Button is a true club legend every sense of the word. The Brisbane Lions. Hunter's matinee idol looks might have seemed more suited to the silver screen, but many argue that he was the greatest player our game has ever seen. A football really? prodigy in his hometown of Albury, Bunton quickly became the target of every VFL club. Fitzroy won out, and I'll be glad he did. A published rover, he made his league debut as a 19-year-old in 1931. Oh yeah, I meant Fitzroy Lions, sorry. Authority on the competition. Not Brisbane. Remarkably, Bunton won the cut of the Brownlow medal in each of his first two seasons of league football. Nice. He finished runner-up in 1934, before following up with a record third medal triumph in 1936. Now we've got Percy Peratz, 1908-17. Sorry, there was more to the other video, like a minute more, but... There might have been more spectacular players than Percy Peratt. There wasn't much of a reaction to it, so yeah. Effective. Peratt was the personification of football smarts. His ability to anticipate play proved revolutionary in his role across half-forward, where he formed a lethal combination with Fitzroy Spearhead Jim Freak. He remains one of Fitzroy's most decorated individuals, having played a total of 196 games throughout an incredible period of That's success for the club. Peratt was the playing coach of the side that won the 1913 flag, and went on to become a valuable member of both the 1916 and 1922 Premiership tribes. So yeah, uh, the last two reactions, I didn't put my whole reaction in because, well, I mean the last one's a minute long anyway, so that, that doesn't matter, but... Um, yeah, um, I did react to those, I just, there wasn't much reaction, but yeah, um, it was nice to know about those other players, and uh, yeah, definitely the best video though was, uh, it was between the Richmond video and the Hawthorne Geelong game, that was, that was fun, had fun with that one, but yeah, um, I think there's some more short requests, so what I might do is, um, the next two days, we've got Carlton Richmond and Adelaide Essendon, uh, the next, yeah, the next two days, so for those uh, days, I'll react to the match, and then I'll add on a request onto those videos. So yeah, hopefully I can get through more of my requests because I want most of my videos for AFL 
for the next few months to be many of the matches of 2018. So yeah, hopefully I can get to my quest faster. And yeah, uh, this is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And as I'm uploading this, well, I'm uploading this uh, on the day where the season starts. So bring it on. I cannot wait for the new season. We are almost there. And well, for me, it's a day away. But for you guys, it's a few hours away. So yeah, and enjoy the game. I'll probably be asleep at that point, but I will watch the highlights. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe, thanks for watching, have a good day. I just said it. Did I just say that? I just said it, didn't I? I said the outro twice. See ya.